Get ready to match the stars. Bert Convey. <laughs> Brett Sommer. Jack Carter. <laughs> Fanny Flagg. Richard Dawson and Ann Elder as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 73. And now here's the host of Match Game 73, Gene Raver. Hurt your finger clapping? I'm sorry, you break a fingernail? Kiss it. That's it's all better now. <laughs> Bert Convey. Uh, <laughs> what is the name of the, the Snoopy oh. thing you're doing? I beg your pardon, the, sir. I mean, uh, uh, the Snoop Sisters. The Snoop Sisters. Yes. That's going to be on soon, is it? It'll be on uh, about a month from now. As a matter of fact, the first one will be on. Yes. Okay. Thank we'll you very much. Seeing that. Called the Snoop Sisters Mug Charlie Brown. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, uh, we've greeted our celebrities now. Let's greet our two players, Richard Valzing and Nancy Cox. Hi. Nancy's our current champion. She's won one game. She has $600 to her credit, and she was challenged by Richard Valzing, and the game ended in a tie. Last time we were together, we started the tiebreaker. He answered his half of the round, matched one celebrity, so now you're going to have to answer your end of it there, and you need one to... Tie and two to win. <laughs> Let's That's find out very good. what's going to happen. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to a commercial, James. <laughs> All right. Let's finish the tiebreaker, which we started last time around. And we have this assignment for Nancy Cox. Listen carefully. You need one to, to go to another tie. Two will win the game. All right. Does everybody understand that? Yeah, we got it. <laughs> you all got it now? Okay, okay. here we go. Charles has great luck hitchhiking at night because his blank glows in the dark. <laughs> Don't look so shocked. You have to write something on the card, Fanny. Go ahead, Fanny. You can do it, sweetheart. It's just a half hour show, Fanny. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't give you a special welcome. Oh, thank it's you. It's your first time on the show. Welcome. Thank you. Get your hands off that fat woman. <laughs> Are you finished? In more ways than one. All right, here we go. Uh, you put the card in the slot, and that's right. how we know you're finished. Uh, Fanny's an amnesia on. victim. You'll have to bear with her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nancy, we got your response. Charles has great luck hitchhiking at night because his blank glows in the dark. Suitcase. Suitcase. <laughs> here comes old Charles. Hitchhiking with a suitcase. Bert, what do you say? <laughs> I, oddly enough, I said thumb. His I thumb said. glows. Yes. You like that answer? You like thumb? All right, Brett, what do you say? That poor girl doesn't know Charlie doesn't carry a suitcase. His nose glows. His nose glows. His nose glows. All right. His nose glows, Jack? Hitchhiking no, I know Charlie. They, they spot him because he's nude most of the time. <laughs> but he does have a phosphorescent suit, not a suitcase. A suit? I got uh -oh. half an answer. Nancy, we're getting down to the wire here. Fanny, what do you say? Well, I agree with Jack. I think he has on a white suit. A suit that glows in the dark. That's a sweet. He can live That's in a that sweet. Sweet. <laughs> so he also works for Beacons. I never wore <laughs> Okay. There's only one Z in this. Uh, so, <laughs> let me see your answer. Suitcase is her answer. Yes, actually, his thumb glows in his the dark. His thumb. You must match Anne or Richard will be the champ. Anne, may we see your answer? Oh, thumb. All right, congratulations, Richard. You are the winner. Right down here, if you would, please. Nancy. It was a real pleasure meeting you, Nancy Cox. Well, We've got $600 for you. Many thanks for being with us on Match Game 73. Nancy Thank Cox. You. All right. Now, Richard, you're going to have a go at the big money. Here's where you can win over $5,000 in the super match. You know how it goes? Yes, I do. You excited? <laughs> yes. All right. Uh... <laughs> Be still my heart, he's saying to himself. Okay, we polled a recent studio audience, Richard, and we got their best response to this. Box blank. 
Now, the answer they gave most often is worth $500 to you if you can match it. The second most frequent response, $250. The third, $100. Now, which three celebrities would you like a little help from on this? Uh, Richard Dawson. Box... Box lunch. Box lunch, he says. <laughs> okay. There's one answer. Just throw sandwiches, folks. <laughs> Just <laughs> throw sandwiches, he says. Uh, Bert Convey. Uh, thank you. I'll say box car. Box car? Yes, C-A-R. Oh, okay. One more. <clears throat> Fanny Flag. Uh, I'll say box top. Box top. <laughs> you say box top. So you got box lunch, box car, and box top. You may choose one of those or give us one of your own, Richard, but we need an answer now. Uh, box top. Box top, Fanny Flag's answer. All right, she's got her fingers crossed for you. That's the answer we're looking for, box top. Let's find out where it is. We're looking for box top. May we see the $100 response? Box lunch is a good answer. All right, that was Richard's answer, wasn't it? Okay, that's very good, Richard. You're in there. <laughs> well, thank right, you. Still thank looking you. for box top. May we see the $250 response? Box top it is. You've got it. Okay, Richard, you're a winner. Before we go on, let's find out what is under the $500 response. What do you say? Box oh. office. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Did you he was so that. sure he was I right. I thought for sure I had it. And he I said, don't. I'm hot today. You won the $250. Really. <laughs> that means you're going to play for 10 times that amount now or $2,500. Now, to collect that amount of money, you must match one celebrity on a head-to-head -head basis, and we ask you now, which celebrity will it be? Who did I match before? <laughs> it was Fanny. I'll take Fanny Flynn. You'll take Fanny without even looking? That's I'll take Fanny Flynn. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it, too, and I'm looking. <laughs> All right, you get ready to write. Yes. You face me, Richard, and here is the $2,500 question. Would you write your answer to this, if you please, ma'am? Blank hand, H-A-N-D. Mm. Blank hand or blank hand. Music. <laughs> put it in the slot. Put it in a little slot there. Okay. See, they don't ring the dinger until you put the, oh, the thing in a little slot there, you see. Okay, now Fanny's finished her She's answer, Richard. And we call for an answer from you. Blank hand. How do you fill in the blank? Has he died? <laughs> No, he's breathing. <laughs> His heart is beating. That's a hard Blank hand. Left. Left hand. Oh. Is that a hard one? That's close. All right, that's his answer. Left hand, Fanny, for $2,500. May we see your answer, please? I'm so disappointed because I'm a Democrat and I put right hand. Oh. Well, oh, right handed, you're sorry. both on the same track there. Well, listen, Richard, you're up to $350. You're still a champ. You're going to meet another player and play another game, and that'll happen right after we hear these messages. Okay, what do you say we say hello to a new player here? Let's yeah. welcome yeah. Colleen oh, Kranz. Hello, Colleen. You know Richard, don't you? Yes. Okay. You're a very pretty lady, Colleen. Thank you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I'm a trust accountant at a bank in Century City, and I'm a newlywed of just about 10 months. Oh, we welcome you. Wish you the very best of luck. You know, you and Richard will be answering questions, trying to match our six celebrities, and the one who does that most often at the end of the second round will be the winner and have a chance to go on to the super match where you can win over $5,000. All right, challenger, we ask you to make a selection. A, please. A is what we have for Colleen, and everybody will play, and if you are ready, this is your assignment. Stephanie got blank in her waterbed. <laughs> Stephanie got blank in her waterbed. Would you stop jiggling the camera when you're laughing over there, please? Stephanie got blank. Stephanie got blank. Is that, is that, uh, there's not an ED on the end of that, is it? Not on my card, okay. no. <laughs> Of course there's not an ED on the end of it. 
Well, it was a very important question. I can't think of a thing. Nobody's ready up there yet. They're already down here. We're the best. We all have water We're the best. best here. We're the best. Yeah. We're the fastest. <laughs> okay, now they're all ready, so let's go over to Colleen Krantz and see how she feels in the blank. Stephanie got blank in her water bed. Wet. Wet. That seems like a logical answer to me. Let's see how logical you are. Story. It's a very logical answer. I said sand. You got sand in your water bed. Yeah. Would you like to tell us how that happened? No, don't bother. <laughs> okay. I thought you were going to hit me. <laughs> Brett, what do you say? She got air. It went like oh, that. Really? Would it's you tell us water. again how her water bed went? No, I don't want no, to. Okay. I'm too embarrassed. <laughs> I thought yeah. my car went what off. Did you, what do you she say? She told her boyfriend he'd have to file his nails. Oh. When he stayed over, so she got holes in her water bed. She got holes in her water bed. He dug into the rubber a little bit. <laughs> okay, no match there. Stephanie got blank in her water bed. She says wet. What do you say? Well, I, I think I made a mistake. I said she got drowned in her water bed. <laughs> she got drowned. That's not correct, is it? I'm so sorry. It could happen. It could. It could, it could happen. happen. It could happen. Yes. Yes. What? All right, Richard Dawson. Well, I'm very pleased with the panel that no one was crass enough to say that she got preggy in her water. Oh, yeah. I did not say that. I'm glad no one said that. <laughs> you rascal. So what I, I said is she got algae ah! in her water. That's the worst thing that can happen. Hey, Dickie, I know algae. No, no, no. He no, no, got no. a preggy. <laughs> And what do you say? Oh, that was Alice. Well, there was a lot of water turbulence in that bed, so unfortunately, she got seasick. Uh, seasick is water. a... Oh, they all like All right. All right, there, G. <laughs> I tripped on my mic cable. Okay, Colleen, you didn't do too well with that, did you? I'm Not sorry too to say. Well. Okay, let's see how you do with this. Richard, are you ready? Yes. You never thought you'd be here, did you? No, I didn't. <laughs> you glad to be here, Richard? Yes. <laughs> okay. changed on that question. All right. Bertha was so fat. How fat was she, Jean? I'll tell you how fat Bertha was. Uh -huh. They had to use blank to get her through the revolving door. <laughs> That's how fat Bertha was. <laughs> Bertha was so fat, they had to use blank to get her through the revolving door. I'm glad you're finished. <laughs> Don't think too hard He's to strain may years, be too it? much, Anne. <laughs> She was that fat, eh? She was that fat, <laughs> right. <laughs> you mean to tell me? Anne. There she is. Anne finally came up with an answer. Let's see what your answer is, Richard. Bertha was so fat they had to use blank to get her through the revolving door. Grease. Grease. <laughs> okay. All right, Bert Convey. Well, I'm I'm in the family. I think I said lard. Lard. Would you allow for that? That is a man. Yeah, that's a man. Please, lard. All right, Brett. I didn't say lard, and I didn't say oil or grease. I said pushers. Pushers. <laughs> you know, you get that <laughs> shiver. I see. Pushers. Okay. All right. Jack, what did you say? You should see what pushers are selling nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> Bertha's sister, she's so fat she needs a bookmark to find her chins. <laughs> but I said that they use... Serious. They use, that's one of the... It's a Maury Amsterdam say. She used suction. suction. A lot of suction. They sucked suction. it through the door. That's right. Okay. Yeah, you. Aren't you glad you came, Fanny? No. No? <laughs> Come on, now show us no, it's no, show I, and tell time. I, I, uh, this man and I are thinking alike. I said axle grease. 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 All right, there's another man. Oh, okay. And... We yeah. depend upon you for a You're same answer. answer. Oh, I'm sorry, Richard. <laughs> yeah. no, I, please, no, 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 I'll do something well, else. I'll answer for you, then. I said... <laughs> Grease! Grease! <laughs> Don't hit my bursitis. What did you say, Ann? Well, I wrote a word that was very near and dear to my heart as I was trying to think of an answer. I said pressure. <laughs> pressure. Yes. Okay. You did pretty well with that. You picked up three, and we'll see what happens in round two right after we have these happenings happen to you. Here we go to round two. Colleen, if you're ready, would you please make a selection? I think I'll try A again. You're going to try A again. All right, since you didn't match anyone last time, everyone plays this time. The Vanderwinkel's guest bathtub is so huge. How huge is it, Jean? They put up a sign that said, no blanking. <laughs> That's some big bathtub, isn't it? Their bathtub is so huge. The bathtub is so huge, they put up a sign that said, no blanking. 
You lost me. Well, would you like to read it? Would you have helped I've been trying to lose her for weeks. You know I can't read without my glasses. Oh, I'm sorry. You do that to me on purpose to make a fool of me. No, the Vanderwinkel's guest bathtub is so huge, they put up a sign that said no blanking. That's all there is to it. Very simple answer, right, Richard? Right. What happened? I just dozed off for a moment. I heard every word. All right, Colleen, we call on you now to give us your response. The bathtub is so huge, they put up a sign that said no... Swimming. No swimming. Good, good answer. All right. Bert, what did you say? She said no swimming. Well, she, she was so tentative about it. We'll be affirmative about it. Swimming. Affirmative. Yes. There's Good one girl. for you, Absolutely. Colleen. Have Swimming. you got something for Colleen, Brett? <laughs> You know what? What? I think something's wrong with me. I think I I'm think the senile. Same thing. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't even think of swimming. I said no vacancies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that covers so well, you know. Let's just say you drew a blank on that. That's all right. Jack I'm so Carter. upset I may tell my real age. <laughs> That's upset. Oh, you, you don't want to upset the rest of us, do you? Oh, let me go. Give me a break. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Jack. Uh, I uh, I couldn't think of anything either. You couldn't. But I thought, uh, I figured no swimming. I figured we'd have no drowning. No drowning. <laughs> All right, she said no swimming. Let's see what you said, I Fanny. Confused. I thought this was password. And, <laughs> and I said no diving. No diving? All right. Now, let me see what's going on here. Oh, you've got to match the two remaining celebrities to uh, stay in the game. Let's see if it happens. Well, that's swimming is the answer. Saying, she's is it? Never drink when you're diving. But I said swimming. So you got one. You need another one. And oh, yes. well, the pressure's really on, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm cooking up here. Swimming. Well, okay. Now, Richard. It's tie at this moment. You've got to complete your end of the round. One match will win the game. Here we go. The farmer said... <laughs> I can't wait to hear this one. I've got a real problem. <laughs> and the cow wasn't home either. One of my cows has fallen in love with... blank. Mother Goose. I don't know. The well, farmer said, I've got a real problem. One of my cows has fallen in love with... Blank. Now, I last time say Paul Lynn. Richard, you matched uh, Fanny, Richard, and Bert, so the three of you will not participate. The farmer said this? Farmer said this. I've got a real problem. One of my cows has fallen in love with... <laughs> all right, we're all set down here, so let's get an answer from Richard. I've got a real problem. One of my cows has fallen in love with... Me. Yeah. With me. The audience thinks you're going to score with that, Richard. All you need is one to win the game. Brett. Well, let's face it. It's not me, sweetheart. My son. Fall, the cows fall in love with my son. I figured he did the milking. Oh, yes. <laughs> And he had soft hands. Yes. Sure. Gentle all touch. That. Jack? It wasn't a Jewish cow, was it? I, I don't think know. so. Instead of moo, it went new, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> might, it might have been a straight cow, though. It fell in love with his wife, my wife. Oh, fell in love with That's my wife. Thought. All right. From Where milking. are we here now? we got to go to Ann. Mm -hmm. Let's see Let if you break the tie and win the game for him. Um, unfortunately, they fell in love with another cow. Another cow. So we got a tie here, folks, and that means we got to go to a tiebreaker. And when we do that, we wipe the slate clean, and there it is. It's wiped clean. And uh, the person, well, one question, the person who scored the most at the end of, you know, one round will be the winner. Colleen, would you make a selection? I'll stick with A. She's going to stick with A. She thinks it's been good with her. Everybody participates in the tiebreaker. When John saw the prices on the menu, he whispered to Mary, don't order any blank. When John saw the prices on the menu, he whispered to Mary, don't order any. I'm not right, but I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm happy. I'm ready. Okay, they're all set. So, Colleen, we call for your response. He whispered to Mary, don't order any. Meat. Meat is her answer. Meat is very expensive these days. Bert, what did you say? Uh, certainly in that family, I said steak, which is usually the most expensive thing. Okay, that's yeah. a match. They say that's a match. Brett? 
Yes. I'm too embarrassed. I can't go on like this. What? He said, don't order anything. Anything. Don't order anything. <laughs> yeah. I've never tasted thing. Yeah, I've never tasted thing. Jack. I went to the end of the menu. Don't touch the dessert. No <laughs> dessert. Yeah. The All right, she scored one so far, Fanny. Well, I agreed with my idol, Brett, and I said, don't order any food. <laughs> okay, just sit there. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. All right. Richard? Don't give Brett anything sharp. <laughs> Steak. All right, there's another match. We're up to two now, Colleen and Ann. And how about right on meat? Meat. There it is. Okay. So you've scored three times, and we're going to have to get to you, but first we've got to get to this, and then you come back right after you hear this message. Well, we've run out of time. I'm sorry to have to stop here, but we've got to do it. And we'll see what happens with this tiebreaker next time. Thank you. Thank you, celebrities. Join us next time for Match Game 73. Bye. What can a hundred grand buy? A sports car, four years of college, or a seat at this table. $100,000 of your own money is the buy-in to the most exclusive poker game in the world with players like Doyle Brunson, Barry Greenstein, Daniel Negreanu, and Sam Farha. Anything can happen. I'm all in. At all. I'm all out. Millions are on the table in the first televised cash game of its kind. High stakes poker. Next Monday night at 9, only on GSN. You get a gamble to win.